Okay. You start walking out, keep your hands up. You start walking out, keep your hands up. Put my pants on? No. We'll get your pants later. Hurry up! Get out right now! Can you, who punched him? Can you raise your hand? Which guy punched? What's your name, huh? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story features Inspire Engine. Angelo and Ilsa spent decades on their dreams and bought a cathedral in 2012, transforming it into the Spire Theater. When the world fell apart, they were forced to close the spire and decided to take their family cross country, living in a shuttle bus while documenting their experiences on their YouTube channel. On May 18 of 2021, they experienced engine troubles and found a mechanic in Española, New Mexico. With the mechanic's permission, they camped in the parking lot so that they could start working on the engine first thing in the morning. That night, the family filmed together and went to sleep in the very early morning. Shortly after, several members of the New Mexico State Police raided the family's bus, making entry through the side door. The beginning portion of the video contains no audio, because as you'll see later in the episode, the officers are trained to turn their cameras on and off often. Five, no, stay right there. Don't I'm not move. My legs. Walk out. Why are you, you start walking out. Keep your hands up. You start walking out. Keep your hands up. Put my pants on. No, we'll get Why? your pants later. Hurry up. He's not wearing underwear. Start walking. No, keep your hands up. Here's a blanket for now. Wearing I don't give a shit. Start walking. What do you think I did? Get out have, right now. I have rights. What do you think I did? I don't care what you think. Come on, hurry up before I drag you out. Do you have a warrant? After forcing entry into the family's home and traumatizing four children while holding them at gunpoint, the officer refused to allow Angelo to put on pants. When he asked for a warrant, the officer responded by punching Angelo multiple times in the face, though his hands were up. My military career as a combat medic for 1st Infantry Mechanized led us into many close quarters battles. Anyone with CQB or military operations in urban terrain will tell you that this department's choice to force entry into a shuttle bus with a rifle lacks the decision-making skills to conduct these raids. Watch how Officer Martinez fumbles through the narrow stairwell, unable to control his weapon. After punching the family's father, they bring him outside. This man punched me! Go ahead and come out here, bud. You guys are okay, all right? You want to bring him to me? We got one more. At this point, Officer Luke Martinez shuts off his body cam as if the incident was over. The family starts recording their own video. If he broke your nose, we're suing them. He had no right to punch you. You were not resisting anything. Yes, please. Yes. I just got assaulted by an officer. Please get, please call. Request 1055. Angel, put some. Go inside. Go inside and put pants on. Go inside. Yes. Move the assault rifle. Kids, wait a minute. Please don't talk to them without one of us with you, okay? 2008. Which guy? Who was? Can you? Who punched him? Can you raise your hand? Which guy punched? What's your name, ma'am? Who was the officer that punched my husband? Can you please just tell me that? What's your name, ma'am? I. Why are you not telling me who it is that assaulted my husband? I was an individual. So we have to the okay, so when is that going to happen? My name is Ilsa. E-L-S-A. Sure. Can you spell it for me? Y-L-S-A. And you're requesting an ambulance? Yes. Date of birth? If my husband has a concussion, that's not going to be very safe for us, Date is it, birth? with our four kids driving around. I told you already. 
With zero empathy, compassion, guilt, or name tapes, the officers refused to answer questions while demanding information from the family. What's your social? My social? Why? Why are you asking for that? Okay. Send an ambulance and tell them one of your officers punched someone in the face who was asleep. Could you tell us the name of the officer? Why are you refusing to tell us the name of the officers that are here? I want all of your names who just assaulted my family. Can you please tell us your names? I mean, you didn't even buy me dinner before you fucked me. I think it's good. We just needed your name. I literally have asked you guys what your names are. Not a single one of you has told me. Not a single one of you. Are we under arrest? I want your names. What's your name, sir? Do you work for the the the, the government? Who are you? Come in. You guys can come on in. Are you ICE? Are you SWAT? Like, who are you? I can't believe he punched you in the face. What? Come on, guys. Okay, now you guys stay in here. Can you log into school, please? I'm gonna have to have one of you talk to my daughter's teacher. She's missed school and she's in state exams right now. So you guys like soup up our mornings. And I am so aware that you have other stuff going on, but like you've traumatized my kids for life. So I don't know if one of you wants to talk to the kids and have a conversation with them because seeing their parents, they're gonna follow suit. You scared the shit out of us. I mean, what did you think was happening? You think we were gonna like, I mean, what did you, why did you have to approach us like that? We didn't know there was a family. We said there's a family in here. Inspire engine, bikes you see all goats, over the thing. There's we, plenty we of see, context see clues. Vehicles, we see vehicles like this all the time, and it doesn't mean there's a Okay, family. but listen. It doesn't mean listen, there is, but it doesn't mean when, it's not. When you were yelling at me to open the door, I said, I put my hands up, I said, I have four kids in here. I can't open this door. Just wait, just wait. Okay. And they broke in. Broke our door, home. which means we can't drive with that door broken. Okay. And then you, you pointed an assault rifle at me, not you. He's hiding now. We that want one. his number. We want his, and his said, badge number. Wait, and my hands are up. Where's your warrant? He came and he punched me in the face twice. And I said, you need a warrant. What are, why are you doing this? Okay. Nothing. Just punch me in the face. Can we have his badge number, please? I'll get that. And his name. Why, that. Aren't Can, you it to me why aren't now? you giving it now? I need to go talk to him. I don't know who it was. Like we need to put our pants on. You know, everyone has things they have to need to go do, but oh, we need oh, to have his information. I, I can do that. Because every single officer on scene refuses to identify and maintained a solid blue line of silence to protect their fellow assailant, Angelo walks to Officer Martinez to ask his name. Notice that his body cam was off and only activates it as he is approached. What'd you just do? Turn on your camera? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name and badge number? Luke Martinez. Luke Martinez. Yep, I don't have a badge number. Luke Martinez. Agents. Sorry, I put my hands in my pocket. I shouldn't do that. Narcotics task force. Okay. Shortly after that interaction, soon-to-be defendant Martinez turns off his body cam again. Ilsa, still in a bathing suit and a blanket, is now shamed by what appears to be the leader of this botched operation. I'd love to. Let's let's not. Let's just see. This is how. Like now, I have to be ashamed in front of all these people well, because I was sleeping. You want to. Nobody's telling oh, you. Oh, you you're. You broke my house because you wanted to. As if they haven't humiliated the family enough. Listen to the disrespect that Sergeant soon to be defendant Gonzalez offers to Angelo for asking for a name. Okay, sir. I'm Angelo. Okay. No. I, I, I want to know gonna, you as people. Gonna, they're not, not going to start repeating it again just for no. this, okay? No, no, so you no. can make a little show out of it. No, no, I, no I, it's, if you want to talk to me, we you can just talk. made quite the production. It's we fine. didn't do that. Well, you did. You did. That's great. And I have rights as an American citizen. So. I have rights as an American okay. citizen. Okay. You just accosted I, my I, family. Sergeant Gonzalez claims there is a search warrant, but has failed to provide one to this day. Angelo attempts to appeal to the officer's human side. I'm, I'm going to introduce myself to you, because I'm a human. Yeah. My theater was shut down, and I had nothing to do. I had no money, I had no income, 
I had this little thing that we use for catering. I put some beds in it and I put a sink in it and a little fridge and a stove so my family and I can just get out of the little town that we have in Western New York, which isn't much different than this. You know what I mean? You look around, you see the same kind of stuff in our town, but it's 30,000 instead of 10,000 people. We never intended to come to a town like this. We decided to just go drive and see some cool things in our country. We've been over 13 and a half thousand miles in six months, and we visited 20 states. This is our 20th, uh, no, this was our 18th state, and now it's our 20th state. We had to come back here because we had engine trouble. I don't know if these were the wrong guys to come to stop and get help, but they seemed like good, nice guys who wanted to help us. Anyway, my name is Angelo. This is my wife, Ilsa. We're just regular Americans who wanted to see some cool stuff. And our four children. Okay. Well, I, so I, I understand. why don't you tell me what you're doing here? We have a search warrant for the property. Okay. And you're, and you're currently on the property. Uh, obviously, we made entries this morning on the property. And then after we noticed that there was somebody in here, Mine's that's when we started knocking, correct? So that's what we're doing here. Because when we have a search warrant, we have to ID everybody that's on the property. Okay. Obviously, we're not looking for you guys. You know? That you're, okay. You're not the purpose of us being here. The purpose of us being here is something completely unrelated to whatever you're doing. So help me understand this. Because I might find myself in this situation again. Um, God willing, I, 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 I don't see why. I never would have expected it to be in this situation. But when someone, a cop comes into your the place that you're sleeping mm -hmm. and says, stand up, and, I, and you say, I'm not wearing pants or underwear. Can I please put underwear on? And they say, no, stand up and get out of here. And you say... My hands are up. I need. I, I think I have a right to have, see a warrant. Shouldn't they then say, "Yes, I have a warrant. Let me show it to you." Yes, we do have a warrant. Obviously, yes, but, but how? We, I still we, haven't seen it. I yet. know that, but we can't have. Each of us can't have a copy of the warrant to be shown. It to okay, so then you stop out. what you're doing and so go get the warrant, right? Because you're making someone stand no. up without their pants on. No, we don't stop what we're doing. We have to. We have to make sure the entire scene is safe. Okay, and that. And after and you like broke said, into our like bus said, we don't know and saw a sleeping there, family. Let's hear, anything. okay. <laughs> okay, so then we, after we're done here, what we do is we leave a search warrant, a copy of the search warrant on the property. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's how everyone knows exactly for the reason we came to. Can, we, can you just tell us at least your name? I'm Sergeant Gonzalez. Okay, because like he said, we're humans and you guys are like, mm -hmm. you were the police and we have every right to treat you like shit. Yes, wait, because I'm, why don't I'm you not tell done with us my questions though. You're names but so when Never. I ask for a warrant mm -hmm. should I expect to be punched in the nose no you shouldn't be expected to be punched in the nose but if you're not complying with my hands are up and I'm saying wait you. I deserve to see a warrant I deserve okay. to see a warrant I'm not moving because I'm not wearing pants because I deserve to see a warrant he the officer because I refused to move because I want to see a warrant he has the right to come and grab me and start twisting my arm and punch me in the nose. The thing is, when they ask you to start moving yes or no? towards him... Yes or no? No, it's Just not a yes or no question. Yes, it is. Yes, no, it is. Not. Yes, it is. I, I, did not, I did not do anything to deserve being woken up with a machine gun of some sort in my face to have my arm twisted because I wanted a warrant before I stood up and showed somebody my genitalia to be punched in the nose. Yes or no? Sergeant Gonzalez continues to refuse to provide an answer to what he's pretending to be a hypothetical scenario, though it just happened. Shortly after, EMS arrives and checks out Angelo. Ilsa has to essentially beg them to take a written report. The officers tell them that they just happened to be in the wrong place, wrong time. Liberty Freak TV reached out to me to help me find them a lawyer, and has reported to me that they may now have representation. Inspire Engine's GoFundMe will be linked below along with their channel if you'd like to support their coming legal battle. Donate, subscribe, and visit their video. I removed large portions of their presentation, and they should be posting updates and more videos soon. Be sure to let them know that I sent you.
As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.